JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, another family mourns the death of another eight-year-old. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Michelle Henry looked with bewilderment at her house the day after her eight-year-old daughter was found inside hanging from a clothesline in Commodore St. Catherine on Sunday. Her face was a canvas of devastation and dumbfoundedness as she retracted the steps that led to her saddest moment, discovering the dangling body of little Naomi Jones on Saturday. We have to leave from here, as I just peer bad memory go through my mind, Henry said on Sunday evening. Right now, even the pitney them say, them no one stay here, cause them afraid of the house, Henry said. And recounted that she left Nehomi at home to assist her eldest daughter at a nearby gas station. Upon her return at about 5 p.m., she saw the child dangling from the roof inside the house. Nehomi's mother was in disbelief at the suspected suicide. When we come back home after 5, the other two pitied them did asleep. And Nehomi was hanging from the roof, the mother said. Me pass shock. Me think I play Nehomi did a play. Me run and hug up her body and feel said still warm. Somebody then tell me that it looked like she dead, said Henry. Asked if her late daughter was showing any sign of depression, the mother replied, No, we were happy here. One thing me have them and me have to work. She stated that prior to leaving home, she warned Naomi not to venture into the street. Me said to her, Naomi, you can't go outside because me are going to problem. Me even say, if police pass and swim the street, me all got prison and one of got children's home, the mother recalled. She has a total of eight children. Two live overseas. Two boys are learning a skill. One of our daughters just got a job in Linstead and the three youngest children were left at home when tragedy struck. The mother added that Naomi and the three of her siblings have the same delinquent father. Her current boyfriend is the father of her last two children. Him also, the two we have to also, the mother emphasized. After her body was frantically cut loose, Nomi was rushed to Linstead Hospital where her family's worst fears were realized. The eight-year-old was pronounced dead. The mother in the meantime wondered if Naomi committed suicide or if she was being playful when she died. She explained that a makeshift clothing line made of neckties was tied some time ago across the roof of the house. She further said, It seems like when I'm not there, the children pull it off from one end and swing on it. So it seemed like said that no me that do, and he get out a hand this time and go around her neck. Maybe she was trying to get out and he keep on spinning around. Henry said that Naomi had always wanted to become a fashion designer. Henry said that Naomi was very playful, yet focused on her schoolwork at Linseed Primary, where she was enrolled. Naomi was scheduled to start grade 3 when school reopened on October 5. Lowell Walters described the child as full of potential. She grew up here like my own child, always taking her mother's clothes and towels and pretending to be a fashion designer while playing with my daughter, who is of the same age, she said. The Linstead Police in the St. Catherine North Division have launched an investigation into the child's death. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.